Product not yet rated. Medieval 2 Total War. Combine strategic warfare on an epic scale and spectacular real-time battles fought on massive realistic battlefields. <laughs> Medieval 2's grand campaign spans five centuries of medieval war and challenges you to take control of one of 17 great kingdoms and lead them to total domination. You will use diplomacy, espionage, trade, religion, and military might. This is an age of darkness. This is total war. Hi, I'm Dan Lethtonen, a designer from the Creative Assembly, and I'll be taking you through a video preview of Battle Tactics in Medieval 2 Total War. Mastering the units, strategies and tactics of the battlefield is a vital component in any successful Medieval 2 Total War campaign. There's no resource management on the battle map. It's an epic real-time clash of armies in a bloody fight to the death. The military tactics carried out in the real world reap rewards on Medieval 2's battlefield. So it's an advantage to be on higher ground than your opponent preferably protected by an incline too steep for the enemy to climb. Troops can suffer from the effects of fatigue and poor morale, and can be hampered by bad weather. Successfully attacking an enemy from the flank or rear can cause them to panic and flee. Units can also shelter from enemy arrows beneath trees, or even hide beneath them completely, waiting to spring out in ambush. The strengths and weaknesses of the various units mean that learning to blend them together and deploy them to best effect is a vital and rewarding experience. You may find your archers threatened by enemy cavalry. But bringing some infantry up in support changes the cavalry from a threat to a target. In response, the enemy sends in his infantry to sweep yours aside. But you flank them with your cavalry and charge home into their rear, routing them. Each faction has its own unique troop roster, and this influences the way it must approach battle. For example, Western European armies are usually heavily armed and can use this to plunge in their way to victory. Heavy infantry crashes into the enemy center, whilst heavy cavalry move around the flanks to thunder into their rear. Middle Eastern factions, on the other hand, boast lighter, more mobile troops who weaken their enemy from a distance with skirmishes and horse archers, before closing swiftly to finish off the demoralized tatters of the enemy army. There are many subtle but intuitive tactics and strategies to master before you can call yourself a true general, able to dominate your foe and triumph despite the odds. That concludes our preview of battle tactics in Medieval 2. Join us again as we continue to examine the strategies of the battlefield and the features of the campaign game in Medieval 2 Total War. Yeah.